In a comment to one of my recent videos, I was asked why I haven't used any cork around the switch for the cassette toilet in this area right here. Apparently water can get in and then short circuit the switch and that would cause water constantly running down the toilet, eventually filling up and overflowing the tank and or draining the main water tank. They haven't really used any caulk yet because for me it is not really a problem. I'm not using the shower that much. In fact, I only used it two or three times so far and I was careful not to, to dump a lot of water into this area. But then again, if this is something that I can easily prevent from happening, well, why not just do it, right? I really don't want to use caulk though. It might get dirty over time, it might loosen up or it might stick too well if I use something like Lexel and then I will be having a hard time ever removing it if I have to get to the switch. So here's the quick solution I came up with. I wanted to cover it with some sort of a vinyl sticker. So I quickly traced out the shape of this whole thing and then used my graphics program to come up with the shape of that sticker. I then sent this to my vinyl cutter and well, cut out that shape. And then I made a few more of these shapes in slightly different larger and smaller sizes so I can pick the one that fits best. Of course the idea is to tape this over the seam and that should prevent water from getting into the circuit board. This is just a piece of vinyl and it is not really meant to be a seal for anything. But then again the water isn't under pressure. I just need to prevent it from going into this little groove between the switch and, well, the top of the back of the toilet. To test out how good this worked, I did a little experiment. I cut this hole into the bottom of this old yogurt container and then I cut another vinyl sticker in this donut shape and I'm using this to basically cover the gap between the bottom of the container and the part that I cut out of the container. It doesn't sit fully flat because there's a little ridge at the bottom of the yogurt container, just like there's also a little ridge around the toilet seat switch. So I think this is a pretty good test for what is going to happen. Now I'm filling it with water and this is way more water in this little yogurt container than ever will be at the top of my toilet switch. I let it sit for several minutes and I'm happy to report that there weren't any leaks. If it would have leaked, it would have looked like this. Based on these results, I'm confident that my little sticker will prevent any water from getting down into the switch. I can replace the sticker if it wears out. I mean, there's really nothing that will wear out, but if it loses adhesion, I can just replace it with a different sticker. And of course, it's always better to prevent a problem from happening than fixing it later. So thank you again for your comment, for making us aware of this potential problem. And I hope my solution to it can help one of you fixing it or preventing it from happening in your van. In any case, that's what I had for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.